So there's a really interesting video circling about right now with Ben Thompson, who, by the way, does incredible, incredible work at fighthype.com. Please do subscribe to his channel. So he provided us with this video of Floyd Mayweather and Pauli Malignaggi yucking it up about Pauli possibly being a mole with the Mayweather camp. Take a look. My friend, my friend called me. My friend called me and said, Floyd, do you want me to go to camp? I said, absolutely. <laughs> all right, so we all know about the bad blood that ensued between Pauli Malignaggi and Conor McGregor, and the big question is, is this true? Do we believe that Conor, uh, excuse me, that Floyd planted Pauli in the perfect situation like a dramatic movie that they played their cards right at every turn in order for him to be a spy for Conor McGregor and then to come back and tell Floyd everything? No, I don't believe so. Uh, I believe that they are trying to make one last jab, you could say, for lack of a better term, at Conor McGregor. And this is just games and chip 101. And if indeed Floyd did plant Pauly, that would go against the code for so in so many ways, especially the boxing code of cheating and planting someone and uh, going against the system and the morality of the system. Now, many people in the comments will probably say, and I have one more clip to show you from this, of, oh, well, that was just smart, and he did it on purpose, and blah, blah, blah. I think they're just having fun, honestly. We know how Paulie essentially threw his hat into the ring to become a sparring partner with Connor, uh, where Connor said that Paulie, quote, talked a lot of shit and would have to, quote, answer to what he's saying, by having a, quote, knock in the gym. Pauly, very complimentary of Connor, went in there. And even Brendan Schaub said for the 12 rounds that Pauly competed, I believe it was twice, Brendan Schaub said, that normally doesn't happen. Usually what happens, and he said this, um, uh, he said this on the Joe Rogan podcast, phenomenal, phenomenal experience. Uh, he said that usually it's one, maybe three rounds, and then you rotate with somebody else and you're done. Uh, so, Regardless, uh, uh, unorthodox is a good way to put Conor McGregor's sparring ways. Um, but nonetheless, it was a rough camp with Conor. We remember seeing the pictures that Conor put out of Pauly going down. It didn't look like it was a push, but maybe we didn't see the correct angle via Dana White, as you're seeing in this Instagram video right here, of Pauly just eating straight left hands. That is raw power. Did it knock Pauly down? No, but it was still raw power. Uh, but again, the question that we have to ask is, did Pauly conspire with Floyd to go against Conor? Here's the second part of that clip via Fight Hype. Then Paulie gonna sit at the house and talk about, talk about strategy. We gonna talk about everything. Don't you worry, Paulie. Thank you for going over there. Like I asked you to do. <laughs> Look, it's an interesting question, but I still do not believe that Floyd planted, for lack of a better term, again, that he put Paulie in this incredible situation to not only get hyped up once again but that it went right at every single turn. I just don't believe that it happened. I believe that they're just having fun as two championship boxers yucking it up in camp and just having a jolly old time. Uh, but I guess the question is, do you believe that they did conspire to go against Connor? Do you believe that Pauly threw his hat in the ring in this perfect situation in order to get a fight with Connor McGregor, regardless of the outcome uh, with Floyd Mayweather? Well, I guess it's not regardless. If Connor wins, sky is the limit. Uh, when Floyd wins, yes, when Floyd wins, could Pauly have set himself up for the next big payday against Connor McGregor? Is that something you'd even like to see? Let me know in the comments section below. Uh, lastly, we are going to be doing a pre-fight live stream at youtube.com slash TYT Sports and also streaming live at facebook.com slash TYT Sports. Myself, Jason Rubin, Francis Maxwell, Flow Combat, Fight Hub TV, TriStar Gym, along with many, many others, the boxing voice as well. So pre is going to start at 3 o'clock Central Time, go till roughly 5 o'clock Central Time, then 10 minutes after the fight, we're going to be doing a post-fight live stream with the same cast and crew, so please do check us out and subscribe to TYT Sports. <laughs>